Hi everyone, it's Dee from Turtle Dove. Hope you're all doing really well. Um, today I thought I would um, come to you with some uh, painting some nail tips. Um, I want to try my hand at wearing some long nails. I have uh, I got my certificate three in nail technology. I don't know about eight years ago seven years ago and I just use it personally for myself and any family or friends um, so I rarely do nails these days but I my nails crafting and doing all sorts of things my nails aren't that good and I just feel like um, just feel like spoiling my hands and so I don't know how long I will be able to wear long nails for especially with crafting and such but um, I can always take them off so I have been busy painting my nail tips ready for putting them on I'm going to um, make a video on the application of these but I'm going to put that on my ASMR channel so if you'd like to see that, just um, the link to my ASMR channel is in always in the description. So that, that will be coming up over the next couple of weeks. But these are the ones that I've done so far. Um, and I'm going to show you how I do these. So it's been fun. It's been a long time since I've done any nail art. Um, these are pretty basic. Um, I love these green green ones and they're very long so as you can see I don't know how long they'll last on me or if I'll even be able to cope with them it's been a few years since I wore long nails for a long period of time so but even if I just wear it for a week or so I just used all the colors that I've used on this set in that one and then there's some black and another green as you know I love green and this one here is more the reds and golds I always like doing accent nails in different colors uh, and the thumb nail tips have a rose sticker on them which I've still got to finish with some clear lacquer see how dry my hands are so yeah I really want to spoil my nails and um, they're very expensive to get done at a nail salon and uh, I thought I would try my hand at tips I mean I can do acrylic nails too but all the acrylic liquids and chemicals that I have are probably out of date long ago so I don't really want to buy a whole lot more just for a few times so this is the pink set it's got some glitter and then I kept some plain and then I put a different type of glitter on the thumbnail it's really shiny and sparkly and then I have the purples it's beautiful purple very shimmery um, with a silvery purple glitter as an accent nail so these are the four sets that I've done over the last few days so I have a set here with one coat on them I normally put two coats of the color so I'll finish that off in a moment but I just want to show you how I um, what I do with the nail tips before I start coloring them um, so first I off, off let you know this one is a set of 500 I bought from uh, eBay off of eBay and this is Melani or Melanie nail art dot com and I think that was about 10 to 15 dollars I bought this quite a while ago um, so you're going to get quite a few sets in that although you won't be using all the sizing because everyone's fingers are different so all I do is find all the sizes of my, my fingers, fingernails and then I put them aside and I right thumb 
the index or pointer, middle nail, ring finger, and here I've got the little finger so that I know for future. Uh, and I set them all up. Now I've left the little finger out and I'll take those out from camera. So when I do these, I might do three sets at a time. So I just spread them out as if they were my hands, as I'm looking at my hands. So I have the thumbs in the middle and then work out to the outside to the little finger. And then what I do is I get a emery board, no file, and I'll get the thumb. And if you look closely, it can be quite rough right at the tip. So you can keep it to the shape. You can get all sorts of shapes. You can get square, squovals, coffin shaped, um, pointy all sorts. I normally go for the oval but these are a bit more pointy so I just file the tip off just to get that roughness off and I do that with all the nails that are, I've set on the on the mat. So that's one step done. So I go through all them and um, if you don't like the shape you can always or the length, you can always cut them down or file them down to the size that you like. You've just got to try and keep them all the same length. Okay, so I won't do the rest of those, but that's what I do with those. So they're almost ready to paint. The next thing I do, I have this poly, well not polystyrene, it's um, the florist's block. Um, and I find this really useful because what I do is I get a toothpick and some blue tack and then I'll just stick the nail tip on there so that it's really easy to work with and you're not having to handle the nail tip because it can get fiddly when you're putting nail polish on and um, doing nail art. So that's what I've done here and I stick them in there and that way they can dry, they're out of the way, you're not going to knock them. So I've done a few, the blue tack's quite dirty from some other nail polish, so I've already put a coat on, and as you can see, it's green, yellow, orange, pink and blue, or purpley blue that is actually, and I have the set here, Beauty Essentials, so this is a set from them that I bought quite a few years ago. And I have, you get all your nail art ready, all your little diamantes or whatever it is you want to use, foiling. Um, here's one that I did years ago in my little set I used to take to clients to, to, to show them what I can do. That's a beautiful pink nail polish with some pink foiling and holographic, or iridescent I should say. So you can do all sorts of things, you can do marbling, um, just little patterns, this is like a little spray with some glitter in the corner. This one's a black nail and I've just done some um, diagonal on the corner with some dotting and then a little flower at the top so just you know you can use your imagination and just do almost anything that you can think of um, these little brooches I used to put on my shirt um, when I did nails just to so the clients can see what you know all different nail art you can do so I had a few of these um, It's always nice to show off some of your nail art because every technician, you know, can do something different or have their own little, it's just like art, isn't it? Okay, so, and then I have my little 
Diamantes, the teeny little nail art. Diamantes, and they're very, very small, so I'm going to use that on here, hopefully. Um, okay, so let's put the second coat on that set. Some of these nail polishes have, haven't been used for years. Um, so I just have to check them to make sure that they're still good and they haven't thickened up too much. So this is much easier than um, putting the nail polish on once it's once the nail tips are on you. You can just manoeuvre the nail however you want, especially when you do nail art and find flowers and things like that. And then they just sit back here, ready to dry. So hopefully I'll get a week or even two out of these nail tips but I doubt whether I will because I'm not used to wearing long nails and I'm quite rough especially when I, I craft so but some ladies who are used to long nails can wear them for a long time and keep them in good condition here's the yellow So I can have like a couple of sets going on on that one. I really need another polystyrene block or foam block I should say. And um, then I can have four sets going at a time. Because I like each coat to dry properly. So last night I did the first coat. So I've been drying for a few hours. You don't need to but I just do that. And if you can make a few ahead of time, you have a few weeks worth of nails there that you don't have to muck about with painting. They are fun to do. They are the orange. I tried my hand at mobile, like a mobile nail technician, but it never really took off because when I did my course, I had a few clients, but it didn't last long um, because to get good at acrylic nails, you need a lot of um, practice to get quick and the clients I did have were quite, I was quite lucky, they were willing to sit there for a lot longer um, while well, I did their nails um, but in the salon you know they can give you a set or a refill in half hour and sometimes it used to take me a bit over an hour so but I'm glad I did the course because I I'm able to do my own nails if I want one still could probably do with three coats but I think two will still be fine now the pink so I don't know how some of you crafting ladies craft with very long nails. It'll be interesting to see how I cope. <laughs> so I do love long nails. I think they look really nice. Lovely and elegant. I always compliment people if I see their nails are nice. always ask where they got their nails done. And 
one more of fun. This is a beautiful colour that's slightly shimmery, slightly frosted. It's sort of between the lilac and the blue. I think it's more on the blue side. You definitely need two coats. Just looks so much richer. Okay. I only did one. Getting ahead of myself. Now at that stage, if you want to put your diamantes on, that's um, after the second coat of colour, you can do that. So I'm going to put a few pink diamantes on the pink nail. I always make sure I've got the tip done properly. These are going to be very long on me. Okay, so let's get this pink. Now what I do is get an orange stick, it's like a cuticle pusher, and I just wet that. And it picks it up. So I'm going to lay all my little diamantes on the on the mat. I'm only licking this because it's my own nails. Normally I would have a little dish of water here. Now these are mixed with some green so I've got to make sure I take all the pink out come on turn around one two three four five get off there we go now zoom in the pink is still wet enough that the diamond is going to stick on. I'll just zoom in so you can see what I'm doing, hopefully. So I'm going to place these close to the cuticle. Be very careful working with such small things. And I'm not used to doing this. My eyes aren't as good as they used to be ten years ago. <laughs> flick all over the place. I could use my wax pencil where it is, is it here it is but the tip's not tip's not big enough and I'll end up pushing down on the polish so I think I'll stick to what I've got see so I'm just going to put that all the way down the bottom
see that. Two more. Oh, they're so fiddly. And then what you do is you let that dry. Let it sit there for 10 minutes or so. And then you put a clear coat on the top, which will set it even more. This one I put a bit too far away from the other, but that's all right. I'm not going to move that now. I'm going to smear the nail polish everywhere. Oops, there we go. So that's going to look nice. That's going to be the index finger. I'm just going to, for the sake of this video, I'm going to put a top coat on there now. And I just want to make sure that those diamantes are pushed into the polish enough you don't want them popping off okay let's put a generous coat over the entire nail right to the tips just put a little bit more over the diamantes and they should not go anywhere. It's a pretty soft pink that one. So that's it guys, that's how I do my nails. Um, I'll be using you can buy some tape to stick the nails down or you can use some nail glue which I'll be using the nail glue um, the tape that I've used in the past none of them are strong enough like I'll just do everyday things with it and they bend off so um, I'm, I've never been happy with the tape but I will be using the glues so let's just do that again So I'm going to finish the other pink nail and if you want to watch me apply these nail tips, um, like I mentioned earlier, they will be on my ASMR channel further down the track. Okay guys, so that's what I've been up to. Hope you enjoyed this. It's a bit different, but it's still arty. Um, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye for now. Hi, guys. I just forgot to mention. Um, don't forget to put a protective coat of um, top coat on the uh, rest of the the nail set okay not just uh, the one with the diamante on it if you use that and that will protect the color and it'll make it last longer as well and it'll also stop the color transferring onto walls and light switches that you might flick on and off and things like that. There's so many times that I haven't um, applied 
top coat to my nails, especially when wearing like rich colours like red. And then you end up with red nail polish scuff marks all over the place. <laughs> So uh, that's what's really good about the, the top coat. It, it just protects everything. Okay, guys. So just while I've put the camera on again, I made the second pink nail. And you can't see that too well. But the second one I did a lot quicker, of course, because it was off camera. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Take care. Bye for now.